And to upload your article to the website, just drag it over the block and click the mouse. Done. <laughs> that looks easy. Oh, it is easy. I mean, writing the article is the hard part. <laughs> Who'd have thought three years ago that I'd be writing articles for a Christian page? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Three years ago, you were the person I was most likely to punch. Three years ago, <laughs> the feeling was mutual. <laughs> okay. Well, I've decided I don't want to punch you anymore. It wouldn't be very gentlemanly of me. You know, three years ago, I wouldn't have thought you'd be too worried about being gentlemanly. <laughs> well, I guess we both changed. I bet if I asked you real nice, you'd even admit that since then, you've learned to like me. Like you, like you? <laughs> yeah. Like me, like me. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> really? You do? <laughs> you sound surprised. <laughs> I guess I am. Can you handle another surprise? Uh, I'm not sure. I bet you can. Okay. Conrad, Janie, we need your help. <laughs> oh, hey, me. Right now? <laughs> Cheryl's missing, and she took Ryan. You serious? Yeah, come on. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, we were done. <laughs> working on our article. <laughs> hey, Conrad, uh, anyone ever tell you that you're <laughs> cute when you're flustered? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Episode 65, Reunions. Marshall, give me a hand with this bed. She sure didn't leave much for us to find. She didn't leave anything. My guess is she'd been planning this for a long time. And I thought she'd gotten herself under control. I never expected her to just grab Ryan and make a run for it. How's Josie doing? How do you think? Mm, I suppose. Hey, Marshall, Tom, I found something. What is it? Cheryl had been sending a lot of emails lately. When she was done sending them, she'd delete them from her outbox, but she didn't delete them from her history log. Who has she been emailing? Your friend, Wanda. Wanda? She wrote her saying that Ryan was sick and she didn't know what to do. Ryan hasn't been sick. Wanda would have smelled a rat. She knows Tom and Josie are raising Ryan. Cheryl signed all her emails, yours in Christ, Josie. Oh, you were right, Tom. She'd been planning this for a long time. Cheryl's last letter, as Josie, said she was... Sending Ryan with Cheryl to see her. So Cheryl's taking Ryan to Wanda's? Gotta hand it to her. It was a good plan. I'll keep that in mind when I'm trying not to strangle her. Take it easy, Tom. We'll get this straightened out. Well, at least we know where she's headed. Let's get going. How much longer do you think it's gonna be? I don't know. We should be getting closer. I like traveling during the day. Yeah. As long as I don't see anyone else start on fire, I'll be fine. I think most people figured out to stay indoors by now. You still remember the directions Vicky sent you? Are you kidding? They're, uh, etched in my brain. I wish you would have printed it up. If something happens to you, I don't know where I'm going. Hey, if I had printed them up and something happened to me, everyone would know where we're going. I suppose. Hey, you see that? What? That van coming towards us. Dude's swerving all over the road. If it's not a Christian, he's probably on fire. Hey, hey, they're getting closer. Pull over. <sighs> it was a girl. She wasn't on fire. I wonder where she was off to so fast. Strange things happen this far north. We'll have to check out the news once we hit the camp. Maybe they know something about it. All right, Wanda. Uh, call us if she gets there. How could she not be there yet? It's not that far. The only other car we saw was that black SUV. She may be lost, or in town here, or who knows where. And if she's in town, she might get caught. You don't think she'd be foolish enough to go into a building, do you? What evidence do you have that she's firing on all cylinders, huh? She just kidnapped my son. Tom, in the parking garage, over to your right. That's my van. Good eyes. Why would she go and park in the shade? Like you said, I don't think she's firing on all cylinders. So what's the plan? Marshall, park someplace in the sun. Okay, and then? We're gonna go find Ryan. <sighs> Ryan and Cheryl? When you say we, you mean... Marshall and I. You two wait here. Mark, keep your eyes peeled. We may need to get out of here quick. We, we should be back soon. <sighs> Great. Once again, we get to sit and wait while the grown-ups do all the interesting stuff. Except it's not deserted. Hiding inside, there's a whole lot of people who can't come out in the sun. I, I still don't get what she's doing in this garage. She may have been dumping the van. Why would she do that? You don't think she had another car ready, do you? You see anything? Nope. 
Let's check the van, right behind you. Just a couple other cars. The van is closed up tight. Maybe they're in the back. I'm gonna open it up. They're gone. Now what? Ah! Ah! Come on, Vic. It's been like a half an hour. You think we should go find out what's going on? Yep. Where do you think they are? Let's we'll start with the parking garage. Be careful. If they're not back, it's because something happened to them. Yeah. I've been thinking the same thing. Maybe we should take a different approach. You have a better idea? No, I mean, maybe we should go in the garage on the other side. Oh, yeah. Good idea. You don't need to keep me taped up. We're not going anywhere. Pipe down. What are you going to do with us? I'm going to make a few thousand nicks. That's what I'm going to do. You're a bounty hunter? That's where the money is now. Make more doing this than I ever did as a teacher. What about these two? Don't act like you don't know who they are. They came looking for you. Oh. Anybody else going to be looking for you? Anybody I need to know about? I don't know. I didn't know they were coming. Before the sun goes down, you're going to tell me what I want to know. After that, I'll trade you and these others in for lunch money. Huh? What was that? It came from over there. <clears throat> Mark! Yeah, but I'm coming from right here. And when you get your wind back, you don't want to follow us. It'll get awfully warm. How did you find me? Yeah, that wasn't too tough. It's okay, Ryan. It's gonna be okay. Let's get Tom and Marshall to Wanda's place. You might need some help. Wanda's? Yeah, we know all about your plan. Now, unless you want this guy to capture you again, I suggest we get to someplace a little brighter. Just hold this on your head. It should help the swelling. Ah, it's cold. Cold ice pack. Imagine that. How's your head, Marshall? Let's just say I know how a golf ball feels. Vicky, can I hold Ryan for a while? No! I guess that's your answer. <laughs> He's my son. Cheryl, we've been over this before. You agreed to let Josie and I raise him. And you lied to me. You said Ryan was sick. And you misused Josie's name. It's pretty clear what you were trying to do. I just wanted to be with him. No, Cheryl. You wanted to own him. There's a difference. If you would have asked, Josie and I would have let you spend time with him, same as everybody else. But I'm not everybody else. I'm his mother. Cheryl, you said you wanted to stay with me for a while. I think that's probably a good idea. Me too. I agree. You're kicking me out of the camp? I think a little time away from Ryan is what you need right now. And when you get your head straight, you can come back. But I... Come on, I... Cheryl. Let me run you a bath. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on. Listen, Wanda, uh, we're gonna get back to the camp, okay? Good idea. I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Yeah. See ya. Come on, Cheryl. I'd say that girl needs some serious prayer. So admit it, you don't know where we are. Globally? We're in northwestern Wisconsin, very close to the town of Avery. Yeah, but you don't remember how to get to the camp. All right. We may have missed a turn, but we're close. I know that. Find a landmark. Something Vicky told you about. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. This row of pine trees along the road. Yeah? Yeah, the direction said that the entrance to the camp is about half a mile after that. On the left, it looks like a, a little turnaroundy thing. Turn aroundy thing? Yeah, like it used to be a driveway, but now there's a cable across it. Oh, oh yeah, I think I see it. But that's not half a mile. No, I'm sure that's it. You ever meet a woman who had a sense of distance? Dog, you do not want to be coming in with an attitude like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, well don't just kid yourself into the doghouse your first day back. So you guys left while she was taking a bath? Well, Marshall and Tom thought it'd be easiest for Cheryl. Get that corner over there, will you? Oh, yeah. I bet she was pretty upset when she found out you guys were gone. Well, Cheryl's gonna be upset for a long time. There's nothing we can... Vic, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I just want to finish these... pillows. <laughs> you think that's Jed and Lionel? I need to get the reds ready. <laughs> I'll go see who it is. You finish with the pillowcases. 
Lord, help me get through this. I don't know what's going to happen, but as long as you're in control. Uh, yeah, come on in. What's the matter? You didn't want to come and say hi? <laughs> We've been seeing each other for two and a half years, and that's the first line you come up with? You want me to go out and try again? Come here! <laughs> oh, you've grown about a foot taller, and you need a shave. Yeah, oh. I started doing that while I was gone. That's not the only change. Yeah, I know. Are you okay? I mean, you know, your arm. I hate not having it, but at least I'm alive. Mostly thanks to that guy outside. Uh, how is that guy outside? <laughs> Go see for yourself. This is Colin and Becky Dial. We were staying at their house for a while. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to finally meet you, too. I've heard quite a bit about you. Yeah? Not sure why I thought you'd be ten feet tall. But... <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen Tanya or Ty? Uh, they were fishing with Charlie. Charlie's here, too? Vicky didn't tell me that. Oh, yeah. Charlie, Janie, Melinda. Yeah, pretty oh, much everyone nice. you've ever met since becoming a Christian. Huh? <laughs> well, not quite everyone. Yeah. So you heard about Pete? Yeah. That's okay. It's temporary. <laughs> Hey! I can't believe you guys are still holding this mud around! That mud saved our skins a couple of times. Tom and Josie say they'll see you tonight. Tom Fogarty? Wow! Why, what's tonight? A welcome back party. Everyone should be there. Vicky even said she was going to bake a cake. I didn't realize things were that desperate here. Hey, I heard that! <laughs> well, look who it is. Vicky, this is Judd. Judd, this is Vicky. You know, the boy you told me about. Hey. No, oh, three years to catch up, and we're off to a blazing start with. Hey, leave <laughs> him alone, you big dope. It's romantic. Oh, oh, right. That's what that is. Yeah. Romantic. Okay. You can take a few lessons from that. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is this awkward for you too? Awkward? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very. <laughs> Welcome home. Thanks. I missed you. I missed you too. I uh. Something wrong? No. No, not anymore. Right. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thanks to all of you for this crazy little clam bake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Josie, thanks for the great cake. Not that I wouldn't have eaten it if Vicky made it. Oh, that's not what I heard. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm speaking for Lionel, too, when I say I'm really glad to be here. The last, uh, what, almost three years have been pretty crazy for us. We've seen some weird stuff, had to do some things we never would have thought we could do before. And some things we hope we never have to do again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just I'm glad to be among friends again and relatively safe. <laughs> here, You're here. here. Yeah. And I just want to say thanks to Lionel, who got me through the last few years. Gave me a good swift kick a few times, now too. only <laughs> when he needed it. Yeah. So, thanks. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I think I speak for all of us, especially Vicky, when I say it's good to have you guys back. Hey! It was true. She's smiling again. It's nice to see. <laughs> it's nice to do. All right, all right. Come <laughs> on. Back. Vicky, you want to go for a little walk? Whoa, hold it. What? What's going on? Well, as you know, we've been taking care of our little Vicky for quite a while here. Yeah? <laughs> as would be expected with such a sweet young lady, we've become, well... <laughs> Attached to her. We don't want anything to happen to her. Okay. As her surrogate father. As her surrogate father. I have to ask, what are your intentions? Nice invitation. Sounds mm. just like my yeah. dad. Yeah. <laughs> Sir? Yes? I mean, yes. I'm here to renew an old friendship, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Daughter, are you open to this young man renewing your acquaintance? Sure. Yeah, why not? I've, I've finished all my baking, so I've got some time on my hands. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right. Just have her back before it gets dark and... No necking! Darian! Uh, Darian Staley, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen! That is nice. the kind of entertainment people travel yeah. thousands of miles to enjoy. She'll be here all week. <laughs> Take a bow, Darian. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Hey, I bye. was just leaving. Yes, <laughs> you were. Uh, bye bye. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Hey, it's not your fault your dad is weird. <laughs> hey, you've never met my dad. Be nice. Yeah. But, but I will, right? Yeah. In fact,. There's a lot of people we'll meet, and a lot of new stuff coming to this crazy world. And we'll get to see it together. Yeah. 
That's... that's kind of what I was thinking. <sighs> nice night, huh? <laughs> yeah, usually when I've been walking at night, it's because we were hiding from someone. <laughs> I know. This is nice. <clears throat> Judd... Hmm? Tell me about Nada. I was wondering when you were going to ask about her. <laughs> I mean, you told me the story, and you told me what happened to her, but what you didn't tell me is... Did you love her? I don't know. I mean, I'd be lying to say I wasn't interested in her. She was a pretty insightful person. Hmm. What, what do you mean? Before she died, she wrote me a note saying that she knew... I was more interested in someone else. Really? She she told you that? Uh-huh. <laughs> so... So? So where does all of this leave us? <laughs> right here. Together. I mean, like, I have no idea what's going to happen in the next year and a half. All I do know is that I want to be with you. Really? Yeah. I mean... I mean as long as you... Of course I do, I... <laughs> I guess I'm only wondering what kind of relationship we're gonna have. Well, it'd be crazy to just jump into a serious romantic relationship right away. I mean, we haven't spent a whole day together in almost three years. Yeah, but we've known each other for over five years. Oh, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm all in favor of changing our relationship. I just... Uh, <laughs> I just want to do everything right. So you're still in care with me. In care. <laughs> yes, in care and a half. Ooh, okay, I like that. <laughs> I know some of you, some of us, are perfectly happy sitting out the rest of the time until Jesus comes back and playing it safe. I, I got no problem with that. All I can say is this heat wave is a great opportunity for us. We can move around easier than we ever have before. Trouble is, we don't know how long it's going to last. Even more reason to get on the stick. There's plenty of work we can be doing with the co-op. Moving people and supplies around. I guess I don't want to just sit here and not help out. Me neither. Lionel might need some downtime, but I'm ready to go. Good. Then it's decided. If some want to help out the co-op and trib force, we will. If you want to just relax and wait out the tribulation in safety... You can do that, too. Like Mark said, we don't know how long this weather's gonna last. I say it's time we take the fight to them. Dad or Bruce Barnes is watching us. He's just talking about all the Christians that have come before us. He's just continuing the racing metaphor? Yeah, very good. When Jesus comes back, are we going to find out who wrote the book of Hebrews? <laughs> well, I hope so. It may not be important to us anymore because we'll be with Jesus then. All right, that's all for today. We'll look at the rest of chapter 12 tomorrow. And Janie, could you bring the cookies? Sure. <laughs> oh, happy. <laughs> Nice job. Oh, I told you, I don't like it when you sit in on my glasses. Why? It makes me nervous. Why be nervous? You studied this stuff a lot more than I have. Oh, it just does. Can I tell you something? What? I've been watching you now for, what, six months? You're doing a great job. I mean, Charlie's asking good questions about the book of Hebrews. What does that tell you? Well, he doesn't get it. I think he gets it real <laughs> good. He has a good teacher. Yeah, Marshall. Uh, Marshall, that reminds me. I almost forgot where I came to see you. Oh, I thought you came just to see me. Uh, well, that too. <laughs> Let me guess, you're going on another co-op run. Uh, not exactly. Marshall wants me to go to Ohio to help some believers there. I guess they're trapped in a library or something? You're... you're going to Ohio? Look, I told Marshall that I'd go, but only on one condition. Um, what's that? That you come with me. Seriously? Seriously. You mean I finally get to go somewhere? So you must be the infamous Vicky B. Vicky, this is Weston Jakes. Nice to meet you, Weston. Call me Wes. All right. Strap yourselves in. Next stop, Springfield, Ohio. This little bus is perfect. Yep. 
It should hold all the believers we need to pick up. Yeah, we used to call these the special buses. <laughs> and it still is special. It's God's bus. Well, I hope it can outrun the GC's Humvees. I'm counting on it still being too hot for the GC goon squads to come outside. We should be gone long before dark. As well, long as everything goes according to plan. Are you sure this is the right library? Well, it's the only one still standing. Now, where are our friends? There's a lady watching us over there. Are you here to meet us? Uh, I don't know. Uh, why don't you come out here in the sunlight? Oh, good idea. That answers that question. Uh, Ma'am, you need to get your friends and get on that bus. We're going to take you someplace safe. Praise the Lord. You've come to save us. I thought you were all inside the library. We were, until a bunch of GC cops took it over. The GC took over the library? About two days ago. We've been sleeping rough ever since. Last night we stayed in a garage. Can you imagine 27 of us in a garage? Well, right now I want to imagine 27 of you in that bus. We gotta move. Everybody all set. Actually, Vicky, you ready? Something's not right. What are you talking about? Audrey, if you moved out and the GC moved in, how come the building is still standing? Yeah, I thought all the buildings with the GC troops and stuff were starting on fire. My boy Howard, he's hiding inside somewhere. Well, we gotta get him out. Vicky and I'll go. Uh, Judd, it's getting too late for this. Now, the sun's going down in a couple of hours and we need to leave the airfield before it does. We can do it. Yeah, all we need is a car. My car is still in my carport. It's not far from here. Here are the keys. Anything I need to know? Well, yeah, actually. The Volkswagen Beetles were made with what was called a standard automatic transmission back in those days. Standard automatic? You shift it like a stick shift, but there was no clutch pedal. The clutch engages when you put pressure on the shifting lever. This ought to be an adventure. I still say this is crazy. We'll be fine, Wes. Yeah, just wait for us at the airfield. If we're not there in half an hour... I'll give you an hour, but don't waste any time. If we're not there in an hour, take off. All right. Don't worry, we'll see you in a bit. Thank you so much. We'll be fine, and we'll have Howard there before you know it. So what's the plan? The plan is, we now make up the plan. Oh, great. I'm guessing the GC are staying downstairs during the day out of the sunlight. Then Howard's probably in one of the upper floors, right? All right. All right, you take this floor, I'll go up to the next. Oh. oh, did you see that? Someone's in that room. Dollars to donuts, that's our boy. Okay, I'll try the polite method. <laughs> Howard, we're here to get you out. We're believers, just like you. We drove your mom's car. Just look out the window. It's parked in the street. Nice. You think I believe us? <laughs> we'll find out. You came in that thing? Yeah. <laughs> You're braver than I thought. <laughs> nice. Come on. <laughs> Just a few more. <laughs> we were saying? Great. Now we're cut off from the exit. What do we do now? Pray a lot. You can't leave yet. My boy's not here. Sorry, Audrey. They're already 15 minutes past the time they were supposed to be here. If we wait any longer, we're all in danger of getting caught. But your friends... Don't strap yourselves in. We are out of here. Oh, that was close. Can you see where he is? I am the shadows by the door. Yeah, and he's not coming out into the sunlight anytime soon. We gotta get to the car quick or Weston's gonna take off without us. Now, if he's stuck to the plane, he's already gone. Howard, is there another way out of this library? Not that I can. What about the windows? How far a drop is it? Uh, too far. 20 feet, maybe. Uh, where are you going? I'm gonna go do something about this guy shooting at us. Oh, come back here. Shh. Get out of this town, raise my chickens. All right, he's reloading. This is my chance. Hold it! Huh? You hold it! Wait a minute, you didn't even have time to get all the bullets loaded. You wanna take a chance? Take it easy, man, all right? We just wanna leave. Yeah, well, me too! But I can't, because of this heat wave. What heat wave? Ah, yeah. ah, empty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I tell you what, we're going to leave this gun sitting just outside for you, okay? Vic, let's move. Once we're gone, you can go out and get it, all right? John. Nice job. Let's get out of here. Just go. Get out. Take the stupid gun. Come on, John. I don't know what to tell you, man. Get out. Let's go. Uh, uh. Ah. Ah. That was like spontaneous combustion! The last believer has left the building.
Episode 66, Running Scared. Ah, oh, yep, we missed him. Weston did just what we told him to do. They left without us? Well, we were on a pretty tight schedule. I guess we didn't make it back in time. So, what now? Good question. Weston knows we're here. He'll come back as soon as he can. I suppose we just lay low until he does? Unless you have a better plan. Give me five minutes, I might. Well, let's just find some place to hide out for the night. When the sun goes down, things around here come alive, if you know what I mean. You mean this airport isn't abandoned? <laughs> this isn't just an airport. This is Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. <laughs> Let me guess. There's still security personnel here. It's a safe bet. Great. Mm. You come up with a better plan yet? Uh, how about hiding out in that parking garage? Well, let's check it out. Hop in. Okay, I'm missing something here. Why is this parking deck such a great place to hide? We'll be able to see if anybody's coming. Yeah, and if anybody does come, we can climb down the outside to the next floor. Whoa, is this a bad time to tell you I'm afraid of heights? <laughs> no worse than any other time. <laughs> right, right. The sun's going down. It's going to cool off in here soon. Yeah, I suppose building a fire wouldn't be the best idea. I bet the library's still warm. Oh, Howard, you have anything to eat in that backpack of yours? Huh. Well, since you asked so nicely. Oh, oh sandwiches? Yeah. Were you holding out on your mom and company? Nah, they had plenty of food. At least until the GC walked in and took over the library. Huh. This is my own little stash. I took them when I split from the rest of the crowd. Hmm. I seem to be just a bit past their freshness date. Oh, that's just the lettuce. Take it off, they'll be fine. Huh. You won't hear me complain. It's all we have. Well, not exactly. Whoa, candy bars? Oh, hello, chocolate. Oh, this is dessert. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. 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 This is not mm -hmm. so bad. What is it? Cheese and butter. Yummy. I don't suppose you have a blanket in that backpack of yours, huh? For right now. We're over here, Vic. We'll keep each other warm. <laughs> so, what's the deal with you two? What do you mean? You married? Dating? What? Uh, we haven't quite figured that out yet. Yeah. Figured what out? Well, in the global scheme of things, there's not a whole lot of time until Jesus returns. So? We're just not sure whether starting a relationship right now is the best idea. Starting a relationship? How long have you two known each other? We met the day of the rapture. The next day. Right. Next day. Yeah, so how long have you liked each other? Um, uh, come on! Oh, well, We're friends, right? Yeah. You eat my sandwiches, you tell me your life story. <laughs> come on, how long? Uh, most of that time. Six years? Uh, what about you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say most of that time, too. <laughs> so, starting a relationship is a six-year process. Yeah, but we got work to do before Jesus comes back. So do it together. That's a possibility, but... No, what we nothing do? in the Bible that I've seen says you can't be married. In fact, it says you should be married. Well... <laughs> Peter was married, and Jesus built a church on him. Yeah, so your point is... Uh, look, I've only known you for a few hours, but I mean, you already act like you're married. We, we do, do not. not. Rest my case. Look, you got a sheen for each other. Why don't you two just get married? Sheen? You know, Howard, that's not such a bad idea. <laughs> Excuse me a second. What do you say, Vic? What, what, what do I say about what? Will you marry me? Uh... Whoa, bad sign. Hold uh... that thought. We got company. Uh... Sure you saw it drive in here. Plain as day? I wasn't far away. It was a blue Volkswagen Beetle. The older kind, it drove right into this garage. Uh, this was before the sun set. Yeah, I was still hiding that building over there. I saw the whole thing. All right, all right. Change one and two cover the south end. We and four on the north. You and I will drive the truck up the ramp. Move out. All right, there's a drainage pipe running down the wall here. I think we can climb down it. Did I mention my fear of heights? Have I mentioned I'm allergic to bullets? Good point. All right, they won't be able to see us from the inside. Should I Let's do it. I'll go first. Works for me. All right, all right. Slow down a bit, Dewey. First floor secure. Proceeding to second floor. Second floor secure. Proceed to third floor. Car on three. Repeat. 
Car on three, blue Volkswagen. Both teams, secure the exits. I'm going in for a look. Cars empty. Hmm. Nobody on the floor. Some wax paper and candy wrappers. No targets. Hey, get off me! They're on the ground level. Keep going. Go in as far as you can. Calvert stays. Yeah, but I doubt they're gonna find us in here. Nobody's gonna crawl into something like this. Yeah, we did. Oh, we had to. Yeah. This should be good. It sounds like they're splitting. A yeah, circle is a better bet. So, um, Judd. Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> this is where they were supposed to meet you yesterday? Yep. Well, let's hope they didn't get caught when the sun went down. Doubt it. Judd seems to have this way to just barely avoid trouble. And Judd's in love. Makes you do stupid things. I guess. Looks like you didn't avoid trouble this time, huh? Oh, we got three runners, south end of the field. Uh, I don't know who the tail is, but I do recognize Judd and Vicky. I'll go get the cabin door for him. I'll taxi closer. All right. Come on, guys, come on! Shut the door! We'll get moving! Nice job on them coming back to get us, thanks! Whoa, you guys got a special fragrance going. You overnight with the three little pigs? Oh, good to see you too, Mark. <laughs> Everybody hold on! We're holding, Wes. Punch this cow! <laughs> oh, by the way, Nicky and I, we're getting married. <laughs> Dear Diary, remember those wedding invitations you used to see? Today I'm marrying my best friend. Ugh, I always thought that sounded so dumb. But now that Judd and I have been making wedding plans, I'm beginning to understand. Marshall's been counseling us for the past few weeks, giving us some ideas about what to look forward to. Before I got married, the pastor suggested to us that we remember to make out a will, just in case. You probably don't need to do that. Melinda and Janie have been getting in touch with their feminine side and have been making me a dress. <sighs> Who would believe it? These two considered me public enemy number one only a few years ago. Oh, Conrad had a great suggestion for the wedding. You should have Sion Ben Judah marry you. Sion Ben Judah. How are we going to do that? He's at Petra. We're in Wisconsin. I know, but you can do it. On the internet or fiber optic or satellite, something. That's not a bad idea. Lionel and Judd are busy helping out with the co-op. It's really cool how close those two are now. Why can't you just admit that I'm right? I'm not talking to you right now. Oh, that's mature. It's either spring or there must be something in the water. Everyone seems to be in love. How was I supposed to know you like flowers? <laughs> what girl doesn't like flowers? Here, here's a daisy. <laughs> that's a weed! Conrad and Janie are... <laughs> I don't know what's up with them. <laughs> Look at Mark and Darian. All they seem to do is fight. <laughs> I don't want a bouquet of weeds. I can't believe you're getting mad about this. Oh, I hope we never get like that. <laughs> I can guarantee you we won't. I don't know what that means. And now, one week before the wedding, Weston's taking Judd away again. He says it's his last trip, trip as a bachelor. bachelor. I don't know. We already got this whole thing set up with Sion Ben Judah. Well, that's the good part of my plan. Uh, there's a good part. You help me take the supplies to New Babylon, and then I drop you off at... Ta-da! Petra! And why is that so cool? Vicky will still be here. Not for long. I'll come back through here, pick your blush and bride up, deliver her to you, Ben Judah marries the two of you, and you live happily ever after. Uh, you would do that? Sure. What do you think, Vic? I like the happily ever after part. That always sounds good. <laughs> but something always goes wrong. What could go wrong? As long as the heat wave holds up, we can go anywhere. Hey, you wanted to see me? Yeah, you got an email from Sion Ben Judy. Oh, cool. Let me see it. He says he remembers me, but not very well. He remembers his daughter Nina talking about me. He must have left some kind of impression. 
Hey guys, what's going on? Hold on a second. He just got a letter from Dr. Benjuda. Cool. Rock! He says he'll marry us! Hold on, cowboy. I like you and all, but... No, 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 he'll marry me and Vicky. Oh, good. Well, that's really... <laughs> that is cool. Hey, uh... Listen, as long as you're both here... I know Vicky's a little weirded out about me going on this trip tomorrow. Can you blame her? You're supposed to get married in a week. Last time you went to the Middle East, you were gone over two years. Yeah, I just want you guys to look out for her while I'm gone. Hang on. You're worried about her? You're the one going to Nikolai Carpathia's backyard barbecue. I'd say you need a babysitter more than she does. Are you sure this is a good idea? I'm just going to help Weston deliver some supplies. It's not like I'm going to a bachelor party. <laughs> I just don't want anything to happen to you. Hey, nothing is going to happen to me, I promise. Oh. How you can even say that after what you've been through? You know, if you're going to marry me in a few days, you really need to learn to trust me. <laughs> it's not like you can control circumstances, Bubba. I know that. So I don't want to be cut off from you again. So, Doc, okay? <laughs> okay. I better go. See you in a few days? Of course. Okay, I'll see you then. <sighs> I can't wait to see Petra. What about me? Yeah, you too, I suppose. If I have to. All right, gotta go. Love you. Me too. What truck do you want me to put these boxes in, Mr. Kurzman? Oh, uh, the sir truck, if you please. I see you met my muscle here, Helmet. <laughs> it's always good to have a strong back to do your lifting. Well, I can't let this one get bruised. He's getting married next week. Oh, wunderbar. There's your Fraulein now. She's in Wisconsin. We're going to meet in Petra on Tuesday. Tuesday? You still have four days. Uh, guys, this day is going to end sooner than we want, so we need to get a move on. Ooh, get a move on? You sound like a cowboy. <laughs> you can both stay with us tonight. Uh, I really don't want to stay in New Babylon any longer than I have to. Yeah, his uh, Fraulein will kill me if anything happens to him. What could happen? I've been living in New Babylon for months. You are as safe with me as you would be at Petra. Uh, I suppose. Maybe I can give my friend Chang a call while I'm here. Chang Wang? He's one of my most trusted comrades. Of course you can call him. Now let's just finish up this job before it starts cooling off around here. Good morning, Chuck. Uh, take a plate. Breakfast is ready. Whoa, where did you get bacon? <laughs> From you, my friend. It was part of your delivery. Oh, nice. Uh, do you want eggs as well? Yeah, sure. And did you speak with Chang Wang last night? Uh, he didn't answer his phone. I hope nothing's wrong. I would have heard by now. Uh, try him again. Okay. Chang Wang. Chang, it's Judd. Judd, this is really a weird time. Yeah, you'll never guess where I am. I hope you're calling from Petra. Actually, I'm not. Why? The game is up. What do you mean? Are you in trouble? If what I'm looking at is correct, we're all in trouble. What are you talking about? I'm checking the global temperatures. It looks like everything's back to normal. Uh, you're saying that the heat wave is over? What? Where are you right now? In the worst possible place I could be. Vicky, wake up. I'm already awake. Something's wrong, isn't it? I can feel it. Phone's for you. For me? It's Judd, isn't it? Hang on, hang on, she's coming. Here you go. Hello? Vic. Judd, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine right at the moment. I just wanted to call and let you know before you heard it on the radio or an internet news group. It's the heat wave, right? Yeah, well, not anymore. It's over. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. You knew? Well, you know what I mean. What are you going to do now? I'm not sure yet. Our current host says we can stay with him as long as we need to. In New Babylon. Well, yeah. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you were trying to get out of marrying me. <laughs> if I was, this is not the way I'd do it, believe no, me. No, I know. I'm just... You're not mad at me. No. I'm more afraid I'm going to see you in some GC newscast. Judah Height ringleader finally captured. I'll be fine. All right, we've been through this before. <sighs> I suppose. And look at it this way. Last time I was gone, I was gone for three years. We don't have that much time before Jesus comes back. Very reassuring. That's my job, <laughs> to reassure. See, there you go again. You want to feel bad, but you have to go and cheer me up. Yeah, that's my other job. Yeah. 
Don't worry, Vic, we'll be okay. Weston and I are gonna get to the airplane first chance we get and hop over to Petra. And Weston is still planning on picking me up? Definitely. <sighs> so, we've been in places like this before, little brother. We'll get out of this one, too. I know, but now I've got Vicky to think about, too. Trust me. We'll get to the plane and take off before... Um, I've got some more news for you. Now what? If it's bad news, I don't want to hear it. It is bad news, I'm afraid. Your airplane was discovered by the global community. Oh, boy. Did they do anything to it? Yes, you could say that. Well, well come on, Helmet. What did they do? Towed it to the edge of the airfield? Packed the engines full of C4 and blew it up. Oh, well, that plane was just starting to lack me. So much for hopping over to Petra. Uh, at least not any time soon. It becomes necessary to show you the escape facilities in my home. Yeah, that could come in handy. Mm. I pray it will not come to it, but if the global community police arrive, you will have to enter this hidden room. Oh, does everybody in New Babylon have a panic room? Huh. If they don't, they should. I suppose. Uh, but this is not just a panic room. In fact, it's more of an escape tunnel. Serious? This room opens into a tunnel that leads into what we call number two. Number two, yes. It travels into the sewers and finally to the river Euphrates. Oh, the sewers. <laughs> just like in the film The Third Man. Uh, before my time. Uh. Mine too, but I still saw it. Anything else on this tour? And this is where we practice with firearms. What do you need guns for? What do we need guns for? Protection! Don't you think God will protect you? He has protected us, but we can't sit back and not defend ourselves. That would be foolishness. Yeah, I'm just not into killing, I guess. <laughs> I have no desire to kill anyone either, Judd, but the facts of the matter is that the global community is trying to kill us. I shall not go gently into that good night. Weston seemed to think you had an interesting story. You want to tell me? Uh, we may be neighbors for some time. <laughs> I'm all ears. When light and dark collide, and ignorance takes up the sword against understanding, what is left for weary men to do? What's that from? A play I was writing at the time of the disappearances. <laughs> it was not very good. It sounded fine to me. Do you know what an understudy is? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an actor who's there in case a lead gets sick or mm -hmm. something. Uh, that's right. Before the vanishings, I was an understudy. At life. Is this you being dramatic again? <laughs> yes and no. I knew my lines and my movements, but I saw life as though through a curtain. Had you heard the gospel before the vanishings? Oh, many times. I had many relations who believed. Your parents? No. They were killed during the earthquake. Oh, sorry. They were on a cruise along the Rhine River near the town of Bingham. For the earthquake hit, the ground opened up and swallowed the river and everything on it. Wow. And your wife, is she back in Germany? Uh, no. She awaits me on the other side. I miss her terribly. That's got to stink. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I came to New Babylon because it is God's will for me or because I'm on a mission of death. You mean you... <laughs> One mistake, and I'll be with my Ilsa again. Forever. How did... She was killed by the global community soldiers in a battle led by Otto Weiser. You mentioned him before. I'm not sure he and I share the same vision anymore. Is he as militant as you guys are? <laughs> yes. Only his loved ones are still alive. Vicky, you mind if I join you? Not at all. I'd appreciate the company. Look like you wanted to be all alone, sitting out here all by yourself. Yeah, I do and I don't. Don't try to figure it out. I don't even understand it. <laughs> Thinking about our boy? Yeah, <laughs> our boy. It's a weird way to put it. <laughs> well, I was also thinking about how much I'm going to miss this place when we go to Petra. 
I've been thinking about that too. Jed wants me to be his best man. Yeah, we both do. I'm just not sure it's such a good idea going to Petra. I'm not even sure it was a good idea going to New Babylon. <laughs> yeah, what do they say about hindsight being 2020? <laughs> I've been thinking about my Uncle Andre. Really? Yeah. I mean, I really love that guy. He's always in some kind of jam, but... Yeah, I still loved him. Yeah, I remember you telling us about him. And that Leroy Banks dude who killed him. I still think he would have become a believer eventually. He seemed like he was so close. Hmm. You can't dwell on the past. Yeah, I've been thinking about Ryan and Bruce, too. Man, all those good friends I had who died. Yeah. Mark's cousin, John. I just don't want to see anything happen to Judd. I mean, he can be a jerk sometimes, but <laughs> he's still the best friend I got. A jerk, huh? That's my future husband you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, bad news. What's up? GC police are doing house-to-house -house search on this block. Yeah. They're right next door. Great. Uh, don't worry. We are prepared for this eventuality. Both of you, head off to number two. Number two? Is it's it... an escape tunnel. Uh, yes, uh, through this door. What about you? I have decided I have a new mission right now. What are you now. talking about? I am talking about getting Judd and his Fraulein back together. That is my mission today. What? No, oh, don't, don't do be this. the same. No, Helmet, you can't. Now it's ah. too late. He's made his decision. Oh, they're crazy. They're all crazy. That may be, but we're alive. And to stay that way, we have to go now. Fine. Come on. Let's go. Uh. 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 Uh.